Cowabunga fam, there's a new Ninja Turtles movie in theaters right now and I saw it. And I drink soda like the turtles, so I know what I'm saying. It's also to help humanize me. I hope it's working. Let's dine on turtle soup. The heroes in a half shell are back, baby! And one of the prominent writers on this film is Seth Rogen. And I know what you're thinking, are the turtles going to be high half this movie? Well, yeah, they are. High on fun. Because this new Ninja Turtles reboot, Mutant Mayhem, is having a ball. We've had several versions of the TMNT over the years, from the TV shows to the live action movies, to even an animated film called TMNT years back. I wasn't huge on it. Not terrible. But none of the Ninja Turtles movies are really ter- Oh my god, I forgot! The spirit of the characters, though, is just timeless. Ninja Turtles. You're combining ninjas who like pizza, just as great, and also like to party and fight bad guys who happen to be ninjas with a boss who's badass with blades. You, you can't make up anything better. It's a kid's fever dream. And it's a dream we've been appreciating for many, many years. I took my kids to this movie, my son and daughter. They loved it. I really enjoyed it. Hour and 40 minutes long, great length, beautiful animation. Yes, it's very akin to the new Spider-Man animated films. That's fine. More the merrier. We have Disney on the other end of the spectrum making a bunch of boring ass CG animated flicks that have lost their luster. I'm happy changing things up. Going back to the 2D format, making that medium shine all over again. These are also the most teenage of the Ninja Turtles we've ever had. I love the voice acting in this. I like that they look younger. They feel like they're high school students. Obviously, they're more modernized. They have updated lingo. I understood most of it, thankfully, because I do have kids who make obnoxious comments. So I'm able to keep up a little bit with the turtles. And they are, thankfully, the major focus of this film. If you recall those giant, scary Ninja Turtle movies with Megan Fox, April O'Neil was the primary character in those. Here, though, not the case. We do have April here, of course, but her story is second fiddle to that of the four turtles. The big standout for me outside of the Brothers Green is Superfly. Ice Cube's voice, man, it just works so well for Superfly as the villain. He's got a sympathetic backstory. It's a relatable story that we've seen before. But this movie's really doing cool stuff with the visuals and how they're narratively telling this thing. I like the montages we get of the action, which there is plenty of. There are at least three or four set pieces where I was thinking, okay, I want a sequel like yesterday. I'm really digging this. The music's bopping, of course. There is one song I think they played a little too much, but uh, I don't want to ruin it because it is a gem. It is a classic for me. And if you grew up with the Turtles, like I did, you're going to find a lot of familiar faces that my kids didn't even recognize, but I looked at and said, ah, yes, I had that action figure. Or I remember that character from episode 14 of season two. I made up the season number. Please don't fact check and go, well, there, there's no classic character in that episode, Adam. You're full of crap. It's 2023, so of course there's an end credit sprinkled in. There's at least one. I can't speak to the way end of the film. I didn't stick around for that. But after the initial set of main characters and actors and whatever is, is gone through, there is something you should stick around for. It's a nice little spot. You know, the nice thing about this movie is it's a very easy recommendation for me, short for recommendation. If you have kids, take them to the Turtles. It's a great time. I would have gone regardless and had just as much fun. And if you saw it already, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, or if you're going to see it, I'd love to hear from you. Please like the video if you had a good time. If you really enjoyed this video, please grab a throwing star that you naturally have nearby. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, take out your sword, <laughs> slice the notification bell so these show up right in your feed every time. We have to do that. And I post content each and every week, multiple times. So I'd love for you to see these. I'd love for you to engage in it. And I would absolutely love for YouTube to say, hey, you know what? This is a good movie critic. Let's, let's start pushing them out more. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go get some za with this Coke. <laughs> cause, cause I'm relatable. <laughs> I'm relatable.